All right. I'm going to be the bad guy here. I'm going to be the paranoid person here. But with both kids going back to public schools, one's in high school, one's in middle school, and we've all seen active shooters, school shooters. It sucks, but hey, it is what it is. I would rather have mine prepared and taking classes on first aid that they can use all throughout their life. And I'm putting together just a little kit so they can put it in their book bags just in case they ever need it. Heaven forbid. I hope to God they never do. So this is just a few things that I have put in there. I have two sets of chest seals. So if you, most, uh, most of the deaths are from what? Uh, shots to the chest, abdomen, stuff like that. So, you get shot in the front. You got one for the back as well to help seal up the lungs. I also have a Z-Pack dressing here to pack the wounds. Yes, yeah, four and a half inches by four yards long. So it's long. You can really pack something deep. And the good stuff. The cell ox rapid. This stuff clots blood in under a minute, so it says. And this for the ones that are just gushers. And it's not in this one, but I have put a tourniquet in uh, the other one. And we all know everybody, absolutely everybody will panic. So they can, this will be in there with it. So they can pull this out. And just see where everything needs to go. I'll, I'll order a special pouch to put this stuff in. But for right now, I just got it rubber band up. So they can just slide it in, a, in their book bag on one of the pouches. So there you have it. I'm sure, God, when one of their teachers see it. Or they have to do a bag dump or something and this pops out. I'm sure I am going to get a hasty call from the principal or the teacher. Or I'm sure a, a damn sheriff or something. Why are you putting this in your kid's book bag? Ah, well, because... Well, after the Texas elementary school, I have very little confidence in first responders getting there within under five minutes and giving my kids aid. Yeah, I'll say it. I'll be the bad guy. So here we have it.